Lewis, the Crab Cracker. This is why I work so hard every day. Tapé muchas bocas. Y a la hora de la pelea es donde me gusta demostrar las cosas con mis con mis puños. No se, no se logró la revancha. Entonces, ofrecieron la pelea con otro irlandés y vamos de nuevo para allá a, a dar otra, otra gran pelea. This is the year of Lewis Crocker. We're starting 2024 with the pan. Y tengan listos los fuegos artificiales porque es, es seguro que va a, haber, va a haber dinamita ese día. This was me all along. I just need the big, the big platform, and uh, and I knew that I was going to put on a big performance. I, I love Tyrone, by the way, <laughs> but I, I told him I was going to retirement, and uh, retirement came. So yeah, I'm I'm expecting the same the same demeanor about myself um, the 27th of January here. Oh, it's crazy, the entrance and stuff. Do you know that they had the like the stage and everything else? It's everything you'd want uh, from a, a boxing point of view. This is it. All the build up, ready to go. The atmosphere was class, aren't it? And there's real intensity in the arena and the sound of the first bell. Losing was not an option. It's not in any fight, but especially this fight. That pissed me off because I slipped. <laughs> so I did and then I remember someone saying after, it was like, I did he rock you? I was like, did he bollocks? <laughs> so he says that he was going to make me no mass. I basically quit, that I wasn't ready for 10 rounds or that I was going to fold under the pressure. And I showed that, like, I've never had like so much fun in a fight. You can see it, like, you know, I'm smiling, I'm laughing the whole way. It's just a great night. Oh, like, I can see how proud and happy it makes my parents, you know. Especially, like, even, like, when I'm training over here, like, it's my mum's birthday today and stuff, and, you know, like, when I was on the phone there, she was like, just, it's just so proud that, like, I'm over here putting in the work, and I come from Sandy Road, it's, like, it's just a local community in, in, in Belfast, so, just, like, to see someone doing well, I think, you know, everyone's delighted with. Because I don't see myself as, like, somebody or anything. Just a normal guy, so being at like this big stage is it is it's surreal to watch sometimes. I see people like average fighters who who think they are someone, and I think the general public can see. You know, no one wants to get behind that. People will respect just a, a normal guy like who puts in the work and just from the working class community, and they appreciate that as well. You know. How are you feeling there? Last twenty seconds. Oh, great. <laughs> Absolutely great. I knew I was going to finish well as well here. Crocker pounding away to the body as he has done for so much of the contest. I remember this as well because I didn't know I was winning the score and they called out uh, two scorecards that I won like all rounds and I was like, I've won got this. You can see my face. Steve Gray, Jean Robert Lane both scored 100 to 90. <laughs> That's when I knew, like, I was like, oh, I've got this. <laughs> He's still undefeated and the new WBA European. That's fucking class. Oh, mate, I can't wait to fight now. And Belfast again, too? Class. Well, we spoke about the nervous Whoa. energy he needed. I put my life on the line each and every time. No problem. I'm there for a fight. Every time. Have the two of you spoke since? Yeah, me and Tyrone spoke since. I was on his podcast, the, the Whiskey and White. So it was. And uh, yeah, me and Tyrone were, were mates before the fight. And we're still mates after, so it, it's good. Yeah, well, the day I got the call, I was halfway through a kebab. Do you know what I mean? Because I thought maybe I'll have a couple of weeks off and stuff, so I was just enjoying it. And then I got the call and stuff, and here we are, back out next month. Oh, the, the team mascot is Big Murphy. He's my, my big German Shepherd. Uh, he's in the gym every single day of his life. Uh, very well behaved, and the other boys love him. One minute, okay, one minute. So I always knew I had to make the move um, from Belfast to elsewhere, just to get me out of comfortability, you know, get me out of the zone and keep me focused. Um, no distractions, and over here in Scotland, um, with Billy Nelson, it's a perfect setup. Like my last four fights over here since I've been with Billy, I've got better each and every time, fitter each time, stronger, and 
my last fight showed that, you know, I'm starting to reach my, my potential and I'm getting there and I think this year is the, the, my breakout year. Just catch and counter, see they're just blocking, content with blocking it. How are you finding that life is changing? Are you, are you enjoying all of this that comes with it? How, how do you perceive how your life has changed over the last 12 months? Especially back in Belfast, the many people like who recognise me now, um, and, and just different things, and the, the more media, everything, and yeah, you know, like it, it's part of the job. So uh, I don't, I don't mind it, and I'm sure, like obviously building up to this fight and the ones after that, I'm gonna have to get used to it anyway. It's good use for the job. Good, I like that. It's nice. Sí, yo soy, yo soy originario de aquí de los Mochis. Normalmente, el tiempo pasado hacía los campamentos en, en California por, por, porque estaba joven y me gustaba un poco andar en la, No me concentraba tan bien, pero ya ahorita senté un poco de, de cabeza. Soy más familiar, entonces ya no me afecta tanto estar lejos de mi familia. Entonces. Hoy manga, sí. Mucha gente pensaba que que la pelea pasada iba a ir a, a cobrar, como dicen, y di, y di la gran pelea, y no quiera el gran invicto prospecto. He's a tremendous right hand. He's got the reputation of a man who comes to fight. Te digo, nadie creía en mí. Todo el mundo decía que, que era solamente un, una pelea de catapulta para él. Y yo le dije a Dijers en el baño, porque cuando fui al baño, en la conferencia de prensa, pues me lo encontré y le dije, te equivocaste al escogerme a mí para rival. No creía en la hora de la pelea, le gané y le dije, te lo dije, nomás movió la cabeza, pero todo el mundo pensaba que estaba sobreviviendo solamente cuando llegó el golpe, entonces... Sí, yeah, so if it wasn't a fight back, you know, I was surprised at the time, because I, I did think uh, Coley should beat him. I think he just had the wrong tactics, but I'll be sure not to make any mistakes. Espero que se prepare bien, que sea consciente y que, y que no haya agarrado la fiesta en diciembre, porque yo no, yo no, yo no, yo no tomé nada de, de descanso, todo lo hice con seriedad. Espero ver la mejor versión de y que, y que, y que tengan más cuerdas. Well, the dangers with Jose, big puncher, obviously. The experience as well, and he, he comes to fight. I'm sure his confidence is through the roof with his last performance. So, uh, yeah, I'm expecting a tough test. Ahora me ofrecen otro, otro invicto, otro prospecto, otro gran peleador, pero nunca he enfrentado a Jose Félix en plenitud. Espero que Kruger Mi rival se prepare bien porque va a ser una guerra y vamos a... Lewis, considering how uh, quick the turnaround has been for you, how are you feeling at, at this stage of your preparations? Great, you know, to be uh, so quick again. Um, that's what you need, you need to be active, especially after a good performance. I think uh, 27 January is perfect. He's a super fit guy. I mean, he could have done 20 rounds that day uh, against Tyrone McKenna. Tyrone thought he was going to struggle at 10. Never in a million years. The stage is set for a huge year, get this win, and then push on for bigger and better fights as well. I truly believe that I've like not hit anywhere near like where I'm going to be as a, as a fighter, especially a couple of years under building and stuff. Um, like that I'm going to be a force to be reckoned with. And obviously for every every man's dream in boxing is to be a world champion. So so that's the goal and that's the dream. Who are some of the names that stick out to Lewis Crocker of the type of fights you want to be involved in? Oh, well, there's there's so many in the UK. Do you know what I mean? It's like, not like that I'm calling anyone out, but you just like, you go you go through like the world-class names. You've got like the Conor Ben, the, the Joss Taylor. 147 is always a popular weight. Do you know, I think it's like only a matter of time before all the big names start to fight each other as well, and hopefully I'm in that mix. It's been a pleasure working with me. He takes things in, he listens. He's a, he's a credit to himself, where he's from and where he is now, and where he's going to go. He's a special, special fighter. I've got the confidence now since my last performance that, yeah, I'm, I'm here, like, and I think with the platform of Matrim the Zoom, that I've got everything there that I need to be a superstar. Orgullosamente, eh, yo soy el papá de José Félix. 
Soto, entrenador desde, desde niño de él. Pues yo le enseñé los, conocimientos, los fundamentos del boxeo, pero él ya con la experiencia adquirida como peleador amateur, tuvo mucho, mucha carrera. Él estudió lo que te comenté ahorita, licenciado en Cultura Física y Deporte. Él prepara sus, sus, este, sus, sus campamentos, eh, mete científicamente todo lo que todo lo que es sustentado científicamente. Me sé adaptar a muchos estilos. Creo que, que es mi principal virtud y, 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 que, y que sé atacar en el momento que necesito atacar. Así que tenga cuidado, Crocker, porque va a ser una, una guerra el día 27 de enero. What's up, my lads? Morning. Feels great to be back. Um, this is where I'm at my, my best, you know, physically, mentally, is when I'm in camp. So to be back, back in the routine again, and spicy so quick um, after Christmas and starting a new year, great. So feel amazing. Any fight that I go into, um, most boxers that they want to get the knockout win. So that's the goal. Don't get me wrong. Obviously, I'll be smart and better, but. You know, the end goal is a knockout. Él quiere noquear. Todo el mundo quiere noquear. Es, yo también quiero noquear. Todo el mundo, somos boxeadores, a eso, van, a eso vamos. Pero pues no es lo mismo hablar que actuar. Entonces vamos a ver el día 27 de enero. Juli también me dijo lo mismo, es mi momento. Mañana nos vemos, le dije. Y al otro día, sabe lo que pasó. This is what you dream of when you start out. Main event, home city, top of the bill. Eh, hice una gran carrera amateur, ahora profesional y yo no tengo presión. Yo ya he estado en el infierno y no, no, siento, no siento miedo de nada. I can't be stopped. I believe I'm going to reach the very top. He elects to come to the fight, and so did I. Let's have it. January 27th, live in the Zoom.